it seems with intolerance. I would think too, but I, I think we have a right. I think we have the right understanding that the power from the wall is plugged into a device that's reading it. That's that's the kilowatt, and then the kilowatt's plugged into the meter. The meter is showing 1.5 less, but it's only got this plugged into it. So the kilowatt's seeing the meter plus this. So it's going to show a little higher because it's got to power that meter. So we'll see if it, if it grows when we go to put a, a proper load on it. Hopefully that'll help explain the delta. But I'll leave the, I'll leave the kilowatt on there for a bit. All right, so what's the point of today's live stream? Well, there's a couple points. The main point was I've seen a lot of traffic on people that are buying 5700 XTs and then trying to do BIOS mods that they see from various creators out there that have put BIOS mods on these most recently. Uh, Red Panda Mining, Serpent X has put some stuff out there, Guntis. There's been a handful of folks that have went out and modded the BIOSes and shown you guys how to do that. Now, just after this point, I spent two and a half hours on stream going through various AMD drivers, testing out along with testing out different versions of the Flasher tool, both 2.93 and 3.04 that's provided by GPU Guru. There's a lot of folks in chat saying that I should try Igor's tool out, but Igor's tool has it on his page set to 3.04. So after two hours of failure, I decided to give this a whirl. And here's where we picked up. Um, so you just linked me Igor's. I'm on 3.04, unless Igor recompiled it and just le left it but I don't think it is, I mean, this is, Igor's tool is at the bottom here. And you're, you're, you're thinking his, uh, these are the same versions I have. I'm using 304. I've been using 304. This version is 304. You know, that's what I was saying. Unless he has, he has a different compile of that. That's the first tool. This one goes to the tiny upload site, details, visit the site. Chrome discarded it, control J, keep this crazy dangerous file, open, 290 kilobytes, dudes. So all he did is he loaded, he just put eight, the DOS flash and this into one folder, the command flash. Gurus does, packages this into, let me go in desktop, test, so this is, uh, GPU Gurus puts in loser agreements and uninstaller. It includes the Windows version 465. I almost want to put Ida Pro on here and do a scan on both. I'll do that separately. Let me write that down. At least, at least I can do this for the community. So Igor's first link run Ida Pro on binary versus GPU. 3D Guru. And then we can validate that they're the exact same file. They were compiled in the same way. I'm not worried about seeing if there's a virus in it. I was worried about that it was compiled different, which meant if, if Igor's version, this isn't to validate that the source from Igor's, it has a virus in it. It's more than did Igor, Igor's version, did, did they do something different that maybe allows this to work? And we haven't tested it yet. Then the other version, the, even if the sizes come out differently, the, the Ida Pro allowed me to reverse engineer, like, allow me to open up those binaries and really see if, there's a, if they were compiled the same or really close to it. All right, we'll go back to ancient era, command prompt. Unlocked. And I think it's just the ROM. Um, it's different. Igor's version is different. It's different. That's what it is. Something's different. So that 3.04 that they're using is not the same as the one that's out there and open. 
Now that I've had a few hours to look into this, I brought both binaries under the exam diff pro tool. That was both the AMD VB flash.exe and the instool 64.exe, which is named a little differently in the GPU guru, but both of them are the tool driver that helps with the flashing. What we can see from both of these is the actual AMD VB flash file does have four differences between the two binaries. But more importantly, the actual driver tool that helps, that acts as a resource, has significant changes. So bottom line, these are two different tools. And the versioning staying the same is what's confusing. Hopefully this clears things up. Below I have the links to everything. And I'm going to include the link to the full video on Twitch if you want to go through that pain of watching it. It will give you explicit detail on how to actually mod these and all the different idiosyncrasies when it's coming into the different settings and switches when you're manually typing that in.